Well, we're continuing to build tooling for the little Atlas lathe and the Logan turret lathe, but this is primarily going to be used on the Atlas. So what we're doing is a centering and facing tool. Today we're going to build two of them. This is kind of my little rough drawing. These turret tools, for the most part, most of these are based off of plans from Downriver Tools. I bought several of their sets of prints several years ago. I've done a couple of them. I've done some self-releasing tap holders, and I modify all their plans just a little bit. Uh, the geometry is the main thing that I've gotten off of those plans. The rest of them, um, I've kind of modified the dimensions a little bit to better suit me. Or their original drawings are designed for half-inch and five-eighths shank tooling, where all of my stuff is three-quarters. So that's primarily what we're doing with them. This is kind of the general layout, three-quarter inch shank. Uh, we've got an eight-degree bevel for our cutting, so we're, I believe that's a tangential cut, easier to sharpen your tooling and stuff. This is kind of an end view, um, and we'll show them as we progress how things are going. I've already done the first one. We've got our through hole. We're doing them for five-sixteenths holes, which is big enough for the couple of the smaller projects that I've done. I've already taken the first block. What I did is I've taken both blocks, set them up in the milling machine, and just squared off the ends, rough squared them. Chuck them up in the four jaw chuck, and I've laid them out. This is our through hole, and this will hold our centering bit. And um, went ahead, drilled and reamed those to 5 sixteenths, and then faced off the end. So this portion of it's ready. We'll go back and um, lay it out for the next operation, which I believe we're Gonna, well, we're going to square up all the, all of the sides to, to match the dimensions here. So I'm going to go ahead, we'll drill out this one and get it ready to go. And then we'll go ahead, set them up in the mill, and fly cut off the sides so they're all equal. Here we're just going to center them up in the fore jaw. And precision doesn't have to be exact here. We want them to be close, but not rocket science. laid them out and center punched the mark. So we just want to zero it out to where it's close to where, it, where it's centered up. That'll be plenty close for this operation. We're just going to fast forward through this. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, center drill it, go ahead and drill it, go out to 1964, so I think, and then we'll ream it with 5 sixteenths.
okay, and that's all there is to that. Drilled it, bored it, faced it off, and uh, then just countersunk it. So this is actually the bottom. All this is going to do is define the shank area and where we can cut off. So let's take her back over to the milling machine now. All right, well, I'm just kind of reverse engineering this since we're kind of doing it on the fly. As it's originally drawn, we want to remove this material down here, or on this side. But the way it was originally drawn, we're just going to eyeball this. We're not, there again, how precision does it need to be? So if we mark out the center of our line right there, we've got, uh, and we'll do each block individually. We've got 0.28. So if we were to measure 0.28, well, let's see, let's just leave her marked right there. That'll give us our center line. No, it won't. That's to the center. So we got 2 8. And then we've got um, 0.3125 divided by 2 equals 15625. 156. Gives us uh, 6, 13, 2, 3, 4, 0.436 will be the center of the hole. That looks better. Okay, there's the center of our hole. And we'll use that as our, well, we'll, we'll take our dimensions off of that and go from there. Do the same thing on this side so we've got our, the center of our hole laid out. Point two eight nine. Two eight nine plus point one five six. We've got eight nine more. Okay, so we've got um, one five six is fifteen eight nine fourteen two three four four five. Us our center line that way. Okay, that orientation. The original block was three quarters of an inch from the center of the hole. So let's see how close that actually is. Point eight oh. Zero five zero. Okay, so that's the difference in our dimension. So we've got zero. So we're going to mill away this material here. We need to cut this down just flat across there. Well, it calls for an 8 degree angle here. They say to set it up in a, an easy way would be to set it up in a tilting vise. I could set it up in a tilting vise for this small amount. I'm just, uh, I just set up my edge angle blocks and we've rotated it over so we've got 8 degrees. 
and uh, we're just going to flatten off the top of it. Then we'll go back, mark it, and we have to cut our slots down in there. We have to drill it for a pivot pin and a few things like that. So I'm just going to face off the top of this. Okay, those are that'll give us our top surface. Now I'm going to go back and um, we'll clean this off again. I'll clean this off on top. Put a little uh, sharpie mark on there so we can lay it out again. And the next thing we're going to do, I believe, is drill our pivot hole for our cutter. After we do that, then we'll machine our slot out. All right, this is a hole for the pivot pin. We've already zeroed it up.